Travis, you've, you've always been a great optimist and a great enthusiast. Are you, both in the short term and the long term, are you, in, are you optimistic about the future of this club? You see, to maintain the success of any football club is not a success ridden uh, certainty, i.e. Um, I feel, I always believe that a four year cycle is probably the, the most you can achieve. There's very, very few teams can create that more than that four year cycle i.e. last season we almost did it, we were one point short of winning the week. And in these stages, and we have been doing this for the last three or four years, and we realised that to c continue to maintain a high con uh, consistency of being there, which is as important as anything, we had to inject youth into the, the club. We realised some years ago that Gigs, schools, never, never going to last forever. And therefore, a policy is to develop footballers in the place. We had a player once says to me that Rooney and Ronaldo weren't good enough. Can you believe that? He actually said they weren't good enough and he wasn't prepared to wait until they were good enough. The player said that. Yeah. yeah. But that's what happens, you know, that's the problem with potential. People don't identify potential, they're very poor at it. I've identified all my life with young people. I know potential. I know it can be developed, I know how to develop it, and I have faith in it. And young people surprise you when given opportunity. And that's what this club's about. So when you, when you see Manchester United at the moment, with all these young players, 14 or something like that, under 22, you can't see Manchester United three years ahead because you're not thinking about that, right? You're not thinking about that. We will invest when for the signature players when it's, the time is ready. This summer was not ready as far as I was concerned. There was no value for me. There was one player, yes, we, 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 we would have liked to have got, we chose another club, right? And I don't think I ever wanted to come to England anyway. Some players don't want to leave their country. It's a fact of life. Some players are happy in their own country. Some players are quite happy to leave. And Manchester is always a big attraction for any player. But if they don't leave the country, then we just forget about it. So, in terms of the future of Manchester United, there's a lot of things in my, my favour. History, the respect we have from... If I told you many agents phoned me or emailed my secretary in, in a week, that player would love to play for us. And I'm not just talking about running the old players, I'm talking about players at almost every club in the world. They're amazing. Because they've still got that fantastic romance and respect from everyone. <coughs> so, sometimes you look in a field and you see a cow and you think it's a better cow than the one you've got in your own field. It's a fact. Right? Mm. And it never really works out that way. It's probably the same cow or not as good as your own cow. So as we have to deal with that, some players like to think it's better world somewhere else. Never really works. Well, that's, that is asking the supporters to be patient as well. Well, I think they've been... As I said, it's difficult to maintain a cycle more than four years all the time. Three trophies, three Premier Leagues in a row is, is fantastic. If we'd done the fourth, it was a record. But it wants to be one point. Now yeah, you can look back and say, well, we drew nil now at Blackburn. We should have beat this team, we should have beat that team. But at the end of the day, we lost to be one point. Okay? And uh, we, we don't like that. We try to do something about it. Uh, but we'll be there. We'll be okay. I'm very, very, very confident in that. We have a structure of the club that's good. We have um, the right staff, the right manager, the right chief executive, brilliant man. There's nothing wrong with Manchester United. Not a thing wrong with it. So we'll carry on. Good night. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Good night. <coughs> Good night.